So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Well, poor Todd. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please. Hey guys, what's going on? We are going to play some My Rise. I don't think we've done this yet on the channel and figured it'd be a good time to introduce it if we haven't. Kind of give Road Dolls some a little bit of a break and not sure if we're going to continue this or not, but it's a good change of pace, so I guess we'll step right into it. I think we'll pick Indy. I think we'll stick with Indy. Yeah, I think we'll stay with here. So we'll do this early part, but then I'll probably cut out the whole character creation thing because that'll be like a half hour if that. Yeah, we'll stay with technician. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. That's a really big tablet. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. You made Got a it. solid first impression Thanks. there. To go through all the tutorial things. All right, Hector Flores. Let's go greet him. Aragon, and then the other one is, I think, Chase. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. And I'm well aware of who you are. I've watched a lot of your matches online. I'm excited to get going, especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Wait. You didn't have family in the business, did you? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there weren't enough moonsaults or super kicks. <laughs> so as soon as I was old enough, I started wrestling. I'm jealous you were able to get going so early. It's a blessing and a curse. You trained at Booker T school? What was that like? Booker's great. He gave me the foundation I needed to make it on the indies, but it was time to take the next step, and that meant coming here. He put in a word for me, and luckily WWE liked what they saw. 
Must be nice to have that kind of support. It is. But I don't want anyone to think I only got here because of him. I'm going to prove that I earned this. All right, then. Good luck. Hey, who are you? Oh, this guy is a peach. It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce. I don't watch bad the wrestling. The biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. That, that bigger, actually. I actually know who you are, but no, I don't watch your matches. I don't want your boring, crappy style rubbing off on me in any way. Look me up online. Just search for best indie wrestler in the world. So you're an indie wrestler, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into a major promotion thinking it's gonna be easy. But you're for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever backyard county fair parking lot indie league you came from. I'm gonna enjoy beating this guy up later. You remind me of a lot of the guys I faced on the indie circuit. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah, on a big stage, packed with pressure, like you've never experienced before. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. All right, now we have the lovable chase. The country bumpkin. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. It's hard to kind of like. Thanks. Be rude. I'm a big fan of yours guy. too. How? So goofy. I've never even had a televised match before. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to be polite. Ah. <laughs> It's okay. I'm relatively new to all this, but you and I have actually appeared on the same indie show in Memphis before. Really? I'm pretty good with faces, and I don't remember yours. Well, that's because you couldn't see my face. I was a mascot named yeah. Ribby. Oh, yeah, the Memphis minor league baseball shows. I think I saw you win a dance-off. <laughs> that was me! The best part of the job was getting to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. Mm. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Wow, he went from like happy-go-lucky to angry straight face. So that explains it. You're Lawler's charity case. I could say the same thing about you and Booker T, but I know I deserve to be here. We'll see here. where this goes. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was going to ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. <laughs> Relax. I was just giving you a hard time. I'll do it. You might need to sell it after you get cut here. Seriously? <laughs> I'm messing with you again. See you out there, Case. Messing with me Case. again, right? What do you mean? You called me Case, but my name's Chase. Good one. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> totally His resting face me. is like full of jokes. Annoyed. Alright, so now I got some DMs. Booker's already in my DMs, man. Not even a I got second. They're already blowing it up. Give you guys a second. You could probably pause it too if you want to read any of that. Just banter. I'm pretty sure we're gonna run through a lot of this later on. Play this on Xbox. So I'm trying to change it up to see how much it differs from being a good heel to just heal.
I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you've heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! <laughs> What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input. But ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, Big Shot. Yeah, Big Shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, We'll let you choose who you want to face. I think I'll be happy to face Paragon. I think we'll put him in his place. Okay. Day one. Let's get started. Let's ring the bell. Well, not starting off super great, but got a good block in there. Oh, snap suplex. Oh, generic moves. Forgot to change him. Whiff. Double axe to the back. What are we going to do here? I'm going to work the knee. I have no clue what any of these moves are. Oh, bowed his chest and took a clothesline. The captain with a look like a European uppercut a spin around rock style DDT goes for the cover One, two. oh a long two count Michaels is just losing his mind over there biggest fan here it looks like goes for a leg drop and misses just like apparently Road Dawson too <laughs> oh, and Hector Garza's look-alike just eats the mat. But catches with a dragon whip. I don't know. I feel like I need to do play-by-play. -play. I think I've been doing it for like two, three months now. That it's just almost kind of habit. Ow! Come on, big dude. Eat it. Talk a lot of smack, but you're shorter than me when you're on your knees. One. Talk a lot of smack, but all he's doing is just grunting the whole time. So I'm laying it in. See if we can actually do something off the top for the second. Oh, got him. Knee drop right in the face. He was trying to roll out of that too. Another two count. I really like the detail of just how like performance centers written in the back and you get kind of the workout gym and the extra rings. Super detailed. Ooh, strong block. What are we gonna do? Another snap suplex. Not knowing any of these moves is really throwing me off. Oh, we have a go behind with a leg sweep and running double axe handle. What are we going for? Oh, no, reverse. So it looks like we're going for a German. Oh, clothesline over the ropes. Eat the mat, sir. Well, they probably didn't plan this, but we'll do it anyway. Boom. Into the ring steps. That's really not what you want to do on practice. 
Oh, snap suplex on the hard mat outside. This would never happen in real life. Five. We'll try to get some taunts in here while the Paragon of Virtue takes forever to get in the ring. Oh, go behind DDT. Paragon music does not look strong right now. Takes the legs out. Grabs the arm and a kick to the back of the head. More like a foot stomp to the back of the head. Kind of like a knee bar, it looks like. Oh, he's gonna kick out. Or literally kick me out. I like how he's no selling the, the leg right now. And a sludge to the back. It's going twice. Feeling froggy. What's he gonna do here? Oh, misses the body splash. Oh, sorry, sir. Wah wah. Oh, reverses. Whips me to the same corner again. The paragon. Oh, face to the buckle. A uh, healthy zero count on that. We're not even gonna allow your ego to get like one. And punch to the face. Ooh, look like we're going for a signature seemingly snap suplex, but got reversed. And he misses a springboard, but looked like a punch. Eats a forearm to the face. Eats another one. Just keep this up here. Oh, reverses my reversal. And I reverse him back. This is Counter City, USA. Road Dog does not look my biggest fan as I completely miss a fist drop. That is. We're gonna pretend that never happened. Oh, going for an arm bar. Michaels and Chase are just losing their minds. But again, Paragon music spins out of it and knee to the head. That was not fun. Whisk me in the corner and I walk out of it. Oh, nice. Succession of moves with a neck breaker to follow up. Oh, two and like three quarters. I don't know how he withstood all that. Now we're going to get him in an armor situation. Man, if we could just like pop the hips here or snap his arm. It doesn't look like it's going to work. So we're just going to let go. <laughs> he tried to look like a springboard and I clotheslined him out of the ring. I don't think I have any sort of plunges or anything. Okay, we'll just generically taunt. Pretend like we're doing something. Grabs him in the back with a forearm. Right at the back of the neck. Oh, half Nelson. That did not feel very good on Hector Garza the third. Oh, Road Dog is loving this right now. I'm not sure why he's my coach. I don't know why he's trying to play favorites. He's also kissing some butt too, wearing a Triple H shirt. I dodge him out of the corner again. Follow up with a nice clothesline. Can I actually get something off the ropes? Sort of got a splash there. I kind of ate the mat as well. But I still got up first. Got big doofus here is still seems a little lackadaisical right now. Kick of the gut with a DDT. That's gotta be it right there, man. That's the first time I hit the DDT. Wonder if that's my finisher. Nice. And I think that'll do it for episode one of my rise. I would appreciate a like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. We might keep doing this. Who knows? Later.
Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give 100% in a training match against a nobody. You're right about one thing. You shouldn't be here. Not because you deserve to be in WWE, but because you're an overhyped, under-motivated egomaniac who's full of excuses. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. I'd like to, but if you keep losing training matches to nobodies, then I'll never get the chance. <laughs>